Hey you, it's Paul from Defining the Box, where we're defining the box to help you think outside of it. This week we have the SLX Grinder. It has its own patented non-stick coating. Three takeaways from this is the coating's actually working pretty awesome. I haven't really put it to the test, but I love it so far. The build quality and magnet strength is top notch. Third is it has a removable screen where you can take it out and then dump it into whatever you want, which makes it easy to access your key catch. A very unique grinder, new take on it. It got a 3.42. Only reason it's a little bit pricier, otherwise it's our highest rated grinder thus far. Who is this for? Jarrett. Jarrett's willing to pay that higher premium price point for something quality. He's down to pay a little bit more. Stacy, she's just a little outside of her price zone and it's not really worth it for her. The overall score is made up of four ratings. Grinder got a 4.2. It tears through any product like some butter. Like butter. <laughs> Storage, I got a 3.7. It's a little bit smaller than some other grinder storage, but it makes it really easy to access it and it's an amazing key catch. Longevity, I got a 4.0. It has an amazing build quality. Pretty sure it has a lifetime warranty too, but they're very particular about who you can buy it from. Price, I got a 2.2. It is more expensive at $60 from authorized resellers. You can only buy it in head shops. They're just very particular. If you want to get your warranty, you have to make sure you get it from an authorized reseller. I dive into all these ratings later in this video. At defining the box, the way we get to our overall scores from a series of ratings and personal weight. If you want to see the most up-to-date ratings and personal weights and how it all works, just check the description and I'll give you more details about it. First rating is Grinder. Grinder got a 4.2. That's the whole process around getting from the unground product to ground product. It's made up of three subcategories: grind capacity, grind speed, and grind consistency. Grind capacity got a 3.5. That's how much product you can fit in the top without affecting its grindability. It's an amazingly smooth grinder, but the closer grind teeth doesn't allow for a bunch of storage. Grind speed, I got a 4.4. That's just how fast we can get it from an unground to ground product. Literally, it's just like two twists. It's an amazingly smooth grinder. The last is grind consistency, I got a 4.7. That's how easy it falls through the holes, and then just how consistent of a product you have at the end of it. As they say, it has a feathery consistency. The hole size is perfect where it just falls straight through with no issues. The second rating is storage, I got a 3.7. That's the process of getting it from your grinder into your consumption device. It's made up of four categories. Storage capacity, dispense speed, heave catch, and portability. Storage capacity got a 3.5. That's just how much ground product you can fit in here. It's a 2.4 inch grinder. It's a pretty skinny, but it has a unique storage aspect that actually allows for more product to go through. And it has nice smoothed out walls that actually protect your product. Dispense speed, it got a 4.0. That's how fast you can get it from your grinder into your consumption device. It's really a quick, easy thread in here super easy to get out and then you can just take it out dump it keeps your keef catch unexposed keef catch got a 4.0 that's if there is a keef catch and then if it's really good so with this one it's a very unique one it's connected you just can take it out to access it even comes with a little guitar pick i don't think that's what's meant for it but you know you can use it like that as a guitar pick looking thing and then also has a little scoop that's standard with most of them. Also, because you can pour this out, when you're getting your product out normally, you like dump it. But since you're doing this, it keeps your keef and then allows your keef catch to work better. Keeps it nice and crispy and clean. Crispy clean donuts. Portability got 3.0. That's how easy it is to bring with you and then do you have to bring like another thing to carry it. It is a pretty skinny grinder for all of its storage capacity, but it's still a hockey puck grinder and I really wouldn't want to put this thing in my pocket. Longevity got a 4.0. That's just how frequent you're going to be using this thing and how long it will last in your stash collection. Longevity applies to all products across all categories. It's based up of five subcategories. Ease of use, cleaning frequency, ease of cleaning, durability, and customer service. Ease of use, got a 4.0. That's if there's any initial learning curve. And then once you make it past the initial learning curve, how easy is it on your life? This is a standard hockey puck grinder, so no real learning curve at all, but just the amount of easiness and the twist makes it really easy on my wrist. It's just a very easy product to use and the whole dispense aspect is kind of game changing. I wasn't really, I never thought about using a grinder like that, but it definitely has opened my eyes to that ease of use. Cleaning frequency, I got a 4.5. That's how often you have to clean it and can you get away with not cleaning it? That's that's something they really strive for is with this non-stick coating. You don't have to clean it very often. You just normally power through most things. Do take into account, I'm in Colorado where our product is not as sticky. It's a little bit drier product up here. Ease of cleaning, it got a 2.8. Is Once you have to clean it, how easy it is to clean. Given it's more unique coating that benefits a lot, it also leaves me questioning how to really clean it. They're particular where you can't use like a certain types of toothpicks. You have to be very, very careful to not dislodge the coating. 
keep that in mind. You can't use the standard isopropyl alcohol trick with this one, or if you can, it's just not very well communicated, I don't really know. Durability got a 4.8. That's its ability to withstand the elements. And then if something happens, what's its warranty? Pretty sure this thing has a lifetime warranty. It wasn't super articulated on the website. The build quality is amazing. Like the magnet feels like it's well strung. I think I could like throw this against my wall and have no issues. They are very particular about like where you buy it from. If you buy it from a non-authorized seller, they're not gonna foul the warranty. Just make sure to buy it from their authorized sellers. I'll link it all in the description. Customer service, I got a 4.0. Is once you run into a problem, how easy is it to solve? They have pretty awesome customer service, but you do have to be particular about where you buy it from. They don't have any authorized Amazon sellers, but if you want a cheap grinder, you can go on Amazon and get it. But if you want to buy a top-notch grinder, you have to go through authorized resellers. Lastly is price. You got a 2.2. That's how it's priced relatively to other products on the market. With other grinders on Amazon for like $8, $10, it is a more of an expensive price point, but you're definitely getting a premium product here. But for $60 through the authorized resellers, it's hard to compete when you have these $8 to $10 grinders on Amazon. They get the job done, but they're probably not going to last as long as this thing will. In summary, it's a pretty awesome grinder. You have to pay a little bit more to get that quality, but the coating is really cool. The Keith Catch is a very unique experience. They innovated on small little things, but they did a great job innovating on them. If you want to buy one, just click the link in the description. You can go to any head shop and you'll generally see them. You can find us at Defining the Box on any popular social media. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends. We'd love that. And thank you for watching.